Yeah, my name is Venkatesh. So I've been in the electronics business for over 35 years, uh, starting off with the wireless communication systems design, and then creating semiconductor chips for telecom and optical networking devices, and now wireless semiconductor devices for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. So Silicon Labs uh, is, a, is, a, is a company based in Austin, Texas, and it came to Hyderabad through the acquisition of Red Pine Signals. Uh, which made Wi-Fi wi and Bluetooth chips. So Silicon Labs today is the world's leader in semiconductor chips for wireless applications. Now chips look like this, they are very small, but today everybody knows there's a big shortage of semiconductor chips because more and more systems are becoming automated, more and more systems are being connected. Everything is connected centrally through an internet, making it more flexible, more automated and so on. So our chips here can do Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, Z-Wave uh, and many other protocols which are used in different types of electronic systems. Uh, in fact, actually if you look at our own chip, it is small, but they power some of the very popular and very powerful automated devices that you, that you encounter today. For example, okay, we have a smartwatch, it's a very high-end smartwatch used by uh, hardcore athletes and so on, okay, which uses our chip. Uh, people, they use it for uploading or, or streaming uh, music into a Bluetooth headset while people are working out. It has Wi-Fi, which can be used to bring in music uh, files okay, when, uh, when people are offline and so on. So uh, it, uh, this uses our chip. We also have a device like uh, a wireless microphone. So for example, if you're in a conference room, international meeting, people are talking different languages, you can just keep a wireless mic in front of each person and then the mic takes the person's uh, uh, audio or speech and then sends it to a server instantly translated and people can view the transcript of whatever is being spoken on their, uh, uh, on their laptop. And it's not just for people. In fact, uh, some of our I mean, uh, award-winning products, our customers' products, uh, also include trackers for pets. For example, this is a dog collar, which has got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in it. It actually can track where the dog is going, help the owner to train the dog, and so on. So these are only a few of the thousands of innovative applications that uh, startups and uh, established companies are actually using, uh, creating using our chips. Yep, so I've been associated with Thai Hyderabad for the last 12 years. So I'm a charter member. Uh, that means that we are having the responsibility of providing our services as volunteers to startups in this area and try to help them in terms of uh, technical, uh, I mean, know-how, business know-how, uh, connect them with, with people, I mean, provide them sources of funding, provide direct mentorship, and so on. So I am also been a board member the last uh, four years uh, and been quite involved in several programs in Thai, especially something called the Thai Young Entrepreneurs, which is a program for students in ninth class to 12th class. And it's been an amazing program, uh, won awards, and it transforms these children in a matter of few weeks to becoming very confident uh, business leaders who can who know how to convert their innovations into a business plan and make it okay, viable. So it's been uh, successfully running and we are starting a new batch uh, in just a few weeks and it's been a, a transformative experience for a lot of students here. So uh, Thai has, a, has something called associate members who are the entrepreneurs who come in looking for uh, uh, advice and uh, on many fronts. Uh, my area uh, in terms of technology is uh, electronics and the IoT. I have had a few companies, okay, not too many. I mean, we are, we are hoping that this will change, the trend will change that more hardware companies come in, uh, hardware startups come in who actually can help reduce the import content of all the electronics business that uh, the India carries out. So I have, okay, I mean, uh, uh, mentored uh, maybe around seven or eight startups in different uh, levels of, uh, uh, of, of, of involvement. Uh, one of the companies which actually makes a, 
a, a smart toilet system, a company called Zero Touch. I have been quite closely mentoring. Uh, we have had an, uh, I have mentored an award winning uh, a startup which does non invasive glucometers. I have also mentored a few other companies in some diverse areas, but my focus is on uh, 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 any, any, any startup that has a, a portion of electronics to what their idea is. So, TGS 2022, the Thai Global Summit is a, is, is, is a unique program and it is a, it's a once, the, for the very first time, uh, startups here would get an opportunity to directly interact with a lot of world leaders in different areas, interact with investors, talk to peers. It is going to be a gathering of hundreds if not thousands of people uh, together in Hyderabad and from Thai we are putting a lot of programs and speakers together and so that startups can get the experience of talking to people uh, who they might otherwise never have been able to get an access to and they would benefit from uh, ideas coming in, uh, mentorship coming in, uh, funding coming in and uh, TGS is going to uh, kind of catalyze uh, the startup industry here. Uh, provide a means uh, of getting them successful and getting on their feet in a new way and it is going to have a long lasting impact. So, Thai Hyderabad actually has a, 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 a huge set of a, I mean maybe about 150 charter members who are very dedicated, who are extremely uh, open with their time and efforts in order to get uh, uh, startups off their feet and get going. So, all these startups here, I mean, if they uh, uh, see, uh, getting ideas is uh, something that uh, everybody has, everybody gets ideas. But how do you actually take an idea forward, make it, monetize it, make it viable, make it a product? Okay, getting an idea into a product involves a lot of, uh, 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 of, of steps, a lot of ways of thinking. And the best way the startups can actually get it is to learn from the mistakes of others. So, the experienced entrepreneurs, they are not gifted with all the ways of doing it. They have learnt, they have tried, they have figured out how to do it. And if you can get 10 years of experience of somebody and use that and take that information in a 30 minute conversation and then avoid a lot of uh, going off in tangents, uh, that is amazingly uh, useful. So, startups benefit by talking to people who have learned things the hard way so that they can actually kickstart, get, get, get themselves kickstarted and move more smoothly.